Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I'm going to start today by planting this medium leaf size ficus benjamina. It was in that pod of natal ficus that I planted on the root over temple and I bare rooted it, stuck it in a bucket of water and it's remained there ever since. So today I'm going to get it planted. So here is my tree. It has a quite a nice root system. This is from a cutting. So I can arrange those roots in a nice radial pattern and plant it in a pot. These medium leaf ficus make great bonsai. They're, I would say, um, a little better growing than the small leaf ficus. Uh, there's the large leaf ficus benjamina. This is the medium size and then you can get one that's even smaller. But the smaller size one I find gets really bulbous roots and they're a little more fussy. I find these are a good compromise between the large leaf and the really small leaf. I'm going to plant the tree in this plastic training pot. It's a good size for it. Before I plant it, I'm going to do a little structural pruning just to sort it out, get it on its way as a bonsai. I won't be keeping this tree. I have enough uh, tropical trees. I'm having trouble fitting them in the plant room this winter. So this will be a plant to give away. Here is a look at the tree. So I'm looking for a nice flowing design. So just studying it from all angles. There's a dead branch here I can remove. There's a dead branch here. That one's alive and this one looks like it's dead up top here, so I'll take the dead bit off there. There's a dead stub here. So that's gotten rid of all the dead wood on the tree. So next I'm looking for flowing trunk lines. So you can see this branch kind of cuts back towards the interior of the tree. So I'm going to remove that one. Like that. There's another one back here that cuts in towards the center of the tree. I'll remove that. I'll remove some of these older leaves down lower. So this trunk line comes up. It divides here, which is quite nice. You can see this branch is growing back in towards the interior, so I will remove that one. This branch is nice, but I will reduce it to there. There's a stub here I can remove. Now this, this trunk line, it's vertical. I think, you know, I'd be better to develop the one fanning outwards. So I'm going to remove this one like that. So. You can see this is the powerful trunk, the strongest one. So this one will be fanning outwards and this one will have my vertical growing section. I'm going to remove this stub here. So I think this will have to be the front of the tree somewhere here. This big swooping branch here needs to be reduced back. So I've got some sub branching. I've got a good one fanning outwards here. So I'll take it off to here, reducing that quite a bit. And then when I get branches in this area, I can reduce it further. The one here, I'll take the tip off. Dead bit there I can take off. So now my trunk line comes up and you can see I've got kind of three branches in one area here. And none of them flow really well. Um, I think, you know, this trunk line, it kind of comes back in and then back out. I think this is the better one to develop as a trunk. Hopefully I'll get a branch coming up here. So I'm going to take off this one on the inside. like that. 
and this will be my trunk line. And I'm thinking of maybe reducing this swooping branch even further now. I think I'll take it back to here. Like that. There's a branch here that's kind of coming in towards the center of the tree. I'm going to take the tip off. And then this one, I can remove this dead bit and just prune the tip off the branch right. to here. And I think that's it. There's an old yellow leaf here that's hanging in there. I'll leave it. So I think that's it for the pruning. I've got an aerial root coming out here, which I'm going to remove. It's kind of just hanging out in, into space. So yeah, I, I think that's got the basic uh, structure in place now. So next, I'll deal with the roots. All right, here's my root system. So I've got a root coming out to the side, which is nice. It flows down into the soil level. There's one kind of crossing on the inside here. I'll take it out. It's growing 90 degrees to that root. There's one here sticking up. I'll take that off. Like that. So all the roots are kind of flowing down nicely into the soil. I'll take this upper one off. And these two. Yeah, it's got a good basic flow to it now. Some of these ones on the bottom are getting a little long and they're pointing downwards, so I'll remove that one. This thick one I'll take back to here. And that should get some more. Actually, I'll take it further. So that should get some roots coming out of that point more radially. I'll just do a little trimming of some of the longer roots here. Getting my root base a little flatter on the bottom. So that's pretty good. That's a good looking root base. And I think that's enough work on the roots. I'll get it planted now. This plastic pot has built in screens in the bottom, but they're quite large. I think my soil would fall through those screens. So I'll add some finer mesh in here, add a base layer of soil, and then position the tree in the pot. My fine screens are in place, so I'll add a base layer of soil. So I'll come up to about two thirds the height of the pot. I think that's a good height to plant the tree. So let's position the tree in the pot now. So this is the front of the tree, somewhere here. If I tilt it this way, this branch kind of comes inwards, so I don't want that. But I do want my thicker trunk out front, if possible. Hmm, that's a bit of a dilemma. If I rotate it like this, you can see this branch line crosses behind. I think I'm going to take that branch off. It'll make the tree a bit two-dimensional, but a new branch will grow in somewhere on the tree, and it'll help. So now I can plant it kind of on this angle. And because the branching's more out to the right-hand side, I'll, I'll position it a little bit to the left-hand side in the pot. Not too far off center, but somewhere about here I think will look good. I'm going to comb out the roots now, trying to arrange them the best I can, flowing down into the soil, nice and radial. because all these roots will become major surface roots someday. So it's important to get them arranged. So that's looking good. I'll fill in some soil around the root system. And then as usual, I just raise the tree a bit to make sure those roots are going downwards into the soil and not too horizontal. That's looking pretty good there. Start filling in a bit more. A 
And I think one more scoop of soil will do. I don't want the soil level too high or you'll start growing new roots above the existing root base. Okay, so that's looking good. Let's just step back and have a look at it. Here's a look at the planting. So yeah, I can see this growing up the main trunk a little taller, keeping this as a branch to the side or a trunk line to the side. This will be like the dominant part of the tree. So all is looking good. I'll give the tree a water and then I'll bring it into the plant room where it'll warm up, recover and start growing really, really well. Here I go with the water. That should do it. I'll place a couple of stones around the tree just to hold it in place while the roots get established. Like that. So now, you know, you can move it around and the tree doesn't shake itself loose in the pot. I think this little tree is off to a good start. I like to have rooted cuttings around so when people visit the bonsai zone, I can give them a little tree to take home. So now let's go on to tree number two for today. In my greenhouse here, I have a lot of trees that I need to fit inside, either in the basement or the plant room. And I've been letting them grow over the summer, so I'm going to prune them back today, making them a little more compact and sorting out the branch structure. So I think I'll start with my yellow hibiscus here. It's been growing really well. It has a lot of flower buds coming on it. So I'm going to prune it back putting the energy into growing the branches I want. Here is a look at the tree. I had a wire stuck in here marking this is the front right here because I was trying to develop a leader on this tree. It was a cutting and it had just been cut off and it didn't have anything really growing upright. It was all kind of spreading branches and I've been trying to develop something going upright and I have a new shoot here that looks like it's going the right direction. So I'm going to begin by pruning back all this new growth shorter and then I'll have a look at the tree, maybe pick a new front uh, based on how the tree has grown and then uh, yeah, try and refine the structure into something that will develop nicely into the future. All right, here I go with the basic cutting the structure back. So this branch, so there's a stub here I can prune off. Oh, and I see it has a bit of white fly on it. Hibiscus are terrible for you know, attracting white fly. So I'm going to prune this branch back quite hard. I have some leaves way back here. So I'll take it off right here. There go all those nice flower buds, but they just take energy away from the tree. At this stage of development, it's better to put all that energy into branching. So I'll prune this one back to here. This one to here. I'll try and kill all these white fly in the process. There's two dead. This one here, I'll prune back to here. And rotating around this one, I'll prune back to here. And this is just a rough pruning. I'll go in and refine it once I get these trimmed back. Okay, and I'll put all these trimmings outside. I don't want any more white fly in here. Okay, so now I'm looking at the tree for structure. So I'll start with this branch coming out to the side. Now you can see the trunk thickness compared to this branch. Uh, there, there's not a big difference. The branch is quite thick. So I need to keep my branch tips fine. You can see here the branch comes out and it's fairly thick out here so I could trim it back to like here keeping my finer growth at the tip I think that would be a good plan 
I'll remove this branch that's growing up right here, keeping this as sort of a cascading branch. So this is a good branch leader right here. So I'll take that branch off and I'll leave a bit of a stub. Not too big a one right here. Like that. And then at the branch tip, I'll just take the tip off, keeping it kind of cascading. Take that yellow leaf off there. And then the other part of the branch, it comes out and it divides from one into three. So one of these branches has to go. And I think this one's kind of going upright. So I either, you know, have to continue that upright form or I can have these two flatter branches as the branch tips. And I think the flatter branches would look better in this case. So I'm going to take off this upright one like that. There's an old pruning stub I can clean up here like that. And then there's another pruning stub in between them that I can also remove. Like that. So I think that's got that branch pruned up. There is a new shoot growing here at the base of this branch. I don't think I want to develop anything out this direction. I could. I'll just remove this upward leaf here and trim back some of these smaller ones. There's a new shoot on the top here I'll remove. Just clean it up. I'll keep this branch as an option. I may want to develop something out this direction. Probably not, but it could be a future option. I could keep this branch and maybe, you know, someday prune away this back one, keeping these two out front here, which are bit more of a radial direction. And I may even do that today. So if I follow the main trunk line up, you can see here's my upright part here that I was glad to get. So I'm looking for a flowing trunk line. I have another one here that's not too bad either. One of those two could be the main trunk leader. Well, let's clean away this, this leaf here so I can see what's going on. My feeling is the vertical one is too vertical and this is the nicer leader to develop there. It, it flows a bit better. So I think the vertical one's going to come off. And then I've got this branch coming up the front. I'm going to remove that keeping my leader and the little branch coming off here. So off goes this one, like that. And then I have another little one growing beside my leader. I'll take that one away. I have a leaf sticking up here, I'll clear out. So you can see now there is a bit of a flow here. It's quite twisty. So to continue that flow, I think I would want it twisting again. So this leaf here would be my new, once that bud develops, it would be my new leader for the branch. So I'm going to trim it off short here, like that. This branch I'll just take back a bit further. And then I've got a hanging branch down here, which I don't really like. I would rather like a, a cleaner trunk line going up. So I'm going to remove that one. So that's gone. There's some other branches behind here. I'm going to clean that out too. 
cleaning up my trunk line like that. So now you can see the intended trunk line. And I've got to think about this branch. Um, it's quite heavy. And I'm wondering, is it too early to start developing that branch? It's at the thickness where it would have to be like almost a trunk. I'm thinking of removing it and just developing the trunk line. I just think it's, it's a thick, thick branch. I think so. I think get rid of that, develop my trunk line and then the canopy eventually. So off it comes. It's a big branch, fairly well developed, developed but uh, it's just so thick. So I'll prune it away roughly at first. Here I go. Like that. And then I'll come in and clean that cut up. So hibiscus wounds do heal, but they're they're slow to heal. They don't heal like a maple. It'll take you know quite a few years for this to callus over. You can see here there's been a major branch removed and it's starting to form some callus, but this one. So it'll take a while, but it'll get there. I think that's good. Now I'll seal up all my cuts with rubber cement. I think that's my only major cut. All these are healing. So here is what I'm left with. It's basically a stick in a pot, but it has nice root flare down here. It has a leader coming up here that will eventually be very twisty. And it has one branch that will develop out to the side. I think it has a good future ahead of it. I'll give the tree a spray down with soap and water before I bring it indoors. Make sure there's no white fly on it. should do it. So I'll let that sit a bit, then rinse it thoroughly. I'm just looking for the front of the tree now. I mean, here's pretty good. It kind of comes up and sweeps around. So I'll mark that as the front. I, I think that's quite a nice front. I'll just put a loop of wire in the front of the pot here. Okay, so that's it on this tree. Creating a nice trunk line is very important in bonsai and I think this tree has a good trunk line now, something I can build on in the future. Let's get out tree number three for today. Here is a look at tree number three for today. It's a ficus religiosa and you can see I've created a nice trunk line on this tree through clip and grow at first it's very angular and then as the tree gets older those angular uh, curves in it soften out and it becomes very smooth and flowing. The tree is getting a little tall so I'm going to be pruning it back. It had quite an infestation of scale earlier in the spring and I cleaned it up but I noticed it still has some scale on it so I'll be cleaning that up today also. Yeah I can see this leaf is covered in scale. This whole branch has got scale all over it. So I'll need to clean all that up. And I think that scale caused this branch to die off. This branch. And I hope this branch is alive, but I don't think it is. No, 
it's dead. So I lost a few good branches to scale, which is too bad. It's just pure neglect on my part. I had all those trees crammed into the plant room over the winter and this one got quite infected with scale. And it still does have scale. So I'll keep cleaning up this dead wood. Oh yeah, it's got a lot of scale on it. I'll show you a close, well, there's the scale right there. You can see the blisters all over the leaves. It's horrible. Uh, this branch is dead. This little one's dead. This one is still alive. I don't think these ones are alive. No. No. Some stubs I can clean up. Get rid of these branch stubs. Like that. There's another one here. Here. Okay, that has got all the dead wood off the tree. So it's still a very nice looking tree. I think I've got a lot of movement here going up. The whole branch has pretty good movement up until this point. And then it kind of goes straight. So I would at least chop it to here. And I'm thinking maybe even lower I'm going to go to here. So here goes the big trunk chop. Just like that. That gets it down to a better height. Then on this branch out the back here, I'm going to reduce this vertical section back to here. Like that. And then the one out the back, I'm going to reduce to here. And I think that looks quite nice. It gets the tree a little more compact. Okay, so I'll get rid of all these cuttings, which are covered in scale, throw them outside in the compost heap, and then I'll start scraping scale blisters off of the remaining tree. So these leaves, this one is just covered in scale and the leaf doesn't look very healthy. I can see insects crawling on the back of it. So I'm going to defoliate the tree. I'm going to bring the tree into the plant room, warm it up so it should get new growth coming out all over it because it'll be under ideal conditions. So that gets rid of some of my scale and the tree should be strong enough to recover quite nicely. So now I will come in and remove all the scale blisters that I see. You can see how healthy the tree is. It's bleeding like crazy. Okay, here goes the rinse cycle. The final work I'll be doing on this tree is to remove the roots that are growing out the drainage holes in the bottom of the pot. All right, here I go. I'll tip the pot up. And you can see all the roots growing out the drainage holes. There's a very thick one here that escaped and grew into the gravel bed in the greenhouse here. And these roots, if they, you know, they continue to grow, they'll grow to the size where they'll actually block the drainage holes in the bottom of the pot. And they could crack the pot eventually. They'll thicken up and... So it's a good idea to keep them trimmed. I really like this Ficus religiosa. I think it's developing nicely. I'll try and give it a little more love over the next year. So let's start working on tree number four now. The next tree I'll be working on today is also a hibiscus. It also has some flower buds up top and it's had a lot of flowering recently. So I'm going to prune it all back. This was a tree that Zinn gave me. Zinn is doing a lot of traveling and he had to give away a lot of his trees. We've worked on this tree in the past and I'll try and, you know, build on that structure that we initially created. I'm going to begin by pruning all the long shoots back. 
using directional pruning. So here's a leaf facing outwards, so I'll prune just above that. And you can already see the bud forming there at the base of the leaf. There's a leaf here. I will prune it back to here. Um, this one to here. This one to here. This one. This one to here. This one to here. And this one. Here. So that's the rough pruning of the new shoots. So now I have to go in and look at the structure of the tree. Because this tree is super healthy and it's getting quite dense, it's hard to see the branch structure, I'm going to defoliate the tree and then prune it up. All right, here I go with the defoliation. So I haven't heard from Zin in a long time. I think he's in China right now. I know he was going there for quite a few months. So he still has some of his trees, but his, uh, I think it's his grandparents are taking care of them and he didn't want it to be a burden on them. So he gave away a lot of his trees. And he tried to give me ones that we had worked on together to kind of continue their development on the channel. So that was very nice of him. Thanks, Zen. And I told him if he ever wants the trees back, He's welcome to have them back. Here's a look at the structure of the tree. I'll rotate it around and I'm looking for possible fronts. There's not much growing out this side of the tree. It's quite bare on that side. I do have a shoot here, which is good. I've got here I've got some bar branches, two branches growing from the same spot on the trunk line. So I think in this case, because I have these two branches, this one's growing almost above the other one. One of them should be eliminated. And I'm thinking the top one. And then I have it dividing into two here. And then I have something growing out this side of the tree. So I'll start by removing this branch. So here I go. I was removing the upper one. Yes. <laughs> had to think for a second. Here I go. So that's gone. So that, that improves this part of the tree. Now, because it's kind of bare out this side of the tree, you can see I had a leaf facing the back here, so I'm going to prune just above that to encourage that branch to grow out into this area. So I have this one, this one, maybe this one eventually. I'm going to take this branch back. I have a leaf that was facing outwards here. I can shorten it to here. Also this one, I have a leaf that was facing outwards here so I can shorten that branch. Now, as far as the front for the tree, it's a difficult decision. I have this division here which is nice it's a mature division I don't want everything going away from the viewer so it would have to the front would have to be I think somewhere around here 
keeping this trunk line coming forward and this is more of a a branch or a another trunk line so you can see I have a shoot here I could remove this thick branch which is getting quite long back to this one and I think I will shortening that branch so that part can come off like that and then the one behind also needs shortening I have a new leader there so I could take the top of that branch off so here I go like that so all that shortens it if this is the front of the tree it kind of puts the emphasis on the upright part now you notice from here this branch divides very early and it kind of crosses in front of this other branch so I think it would look better without that um, I'm just trying to lock down the front of the tree here like it about here and I think this branch needs to grow up into this place yeah it's not bad there now I have an opportunity to shorten this branch a bit I have one growing here and a tip growing here and then I can reduce this part back taking the end off the branch subtle but it's an improvement I think now do I want to keep this branch or not I'm going to mark the front of the tree so I'll mark that put a loop of wire in the front there so there's the front of my tree, right there. So it's a little confusing having these branches kind of almost blocking the ones behind, but it's not too bad. I think as these grow, it'll be better. There is a branch coming out the back here that's a little funny. You can see it kind of grows up and then out. It does fill in the back there a bit. And it's not too bad. Now, I'm just wondering what's going on with the apex there. It looks like it maybe died off. But there is some living tissue below. I'll just prune off the dead bit. Like that. I'll prune this one. There's a leaf facing out here. I'll take the tip off. I've got a branch back here kind of growing behind straight back. I'm going to remove that one. It's kind of cluttering that area up a bit. And then this branch here. It's got one sweeping outwards and this one's kind of going vertical, that part of it. And I think it would look better without it, so I'm going to take that off. Like that. And there's a stub back here I'm going to clean up also. Just cleaning that branch up a bit. That looks better. I'm going to shorten this one. There's a branch going on top here. I'll get rid of that. It's the start of a branch. And there's one in here too. Get rid of that. I've kind of got, these are kind of bar branches here. I 
got to decide which one I want to keep. And I, I, I'm leaning towards the one growing up on the inside to kind of maintain the balance of the tree. I don't want it getting too, too much of a slanting tree. And that branch is kind of growing in front of the trunk line here. It kind of comes out from the front. So I'm thinking of removing that one. I think that would be a good move. Even though I just cleaned it all up, but... I'm not sure. I do have like the double branches here, this one and then the one behind. So I could remove that one easily also. And then do have, you know, kind of the apex kind of slanting over here. I, I think that's the better choice because I have these double branches here. So I'll remove this one. Like that. So there's the front now. Yeah, I, I think that was a good choice. Now, I'm still not liking this branch kind of crossing in front of this one. So, I could reduce it back to here. There's a shoot here, so I will, and see how that looks. So from the front, that's better. It's still not great. I'm thinking because I have the division here, I maybe don't need this branch at all. If that was gone, it would kind of open up that V section here. And I've got lots of branching I can develop. I don't think I need anything coming out front because I have the trunk line coming out front. I think it's got to go. So I'm going to remove it. I'll do a rough cut first. Like that. And then I'll clean it up. Like that. So how does that look now? Ah, oh, that looks better. It's a cleaner design. I'm just looking at the front. I think that's good. I, I, I'm happy. I'm just going to rotate my front just a little bit. Okay, I, I think I'm happy with that. I think that's a good looking tree now. So there's a view of the front of the tree. Somewhere in there. Yeah, I, I think it's a good looking tree. So. That will be it for this tree today. The last tree I'll be working on today, tree number five, is another tree of Zins. It's a Natal plum, and he's trained it into a cascade style, so I will continue that cascade theme. Here is a look at the tree. So you can see some of the areas are getting quite long, and it's kind of losing, losing that cascade form. The cascade branch is almost becoming insignificant because of the strong growth on the others. Okay, so I'm going to prune it up. So Zen had a branch come up up here as sort of a mini apex, and it's gone, it's gotten very, very strong, way too strong. So it needs pruning back, and I, I want to get it as short as possible. Just seeing what's going on with it. I'll start by pruning off this big thick end here. So here goes cut number one. Taking that off. And then if I look around the back, I've got another very thick branch here. So I'll also remove that, cut number two, a big one, taking that off. So now you can see the cascade form is a little nicer. I don't even know which is the front here. The 
cascade branch comes forward here, but the apex comes backwards. So maybe, I think this was the intended front here. So if I can develop this apex to come forward a bit, it, I think it would be nicer. I'm just going to clean out some of the older leaves in here so I can see the branch structure. So you can see I have a branch to the right, one to the left, and then it gets very thick up top. So I think I need to reduce that back. So I'm going to prune off this thick top here, keeping those smaller branches. So here I go, like that. That gets that apex a bit more under control. So the cascade part, it has a branch here, but not a lot of developed branches on it. All the growth has gone into the tips here. So I think I need to prune these tips back and try and get some branching to start onto that cascade part. These tips are growing very straight, so by pruning them back, I'll develop some movement in them. So I'm just trying to find a point. I think I'll go right back to the first two leaves here. That. I've got a branch that continues the cascade down lower. I'll just clean up some of these older leaves. There's a old one here. There's a vertical part here that's taking a lot of strength out of the other branches on the cascade. I'm going to remove it totally like that. And I think that is it. I, I think that's as much as I can do on this tree today. It grew well over the summer. There is a shoot back here I'm going to take out. It's coming, a sucker coming out of the soil line off the root system. Yeah, so that, that's it. It's got it kind of back into the cascade form, developing a small canopy here and trying to get some branching on this cascade branch now. Here is a look at what I took off today. Quite a lot of foliage, but I think it's got the tree back to a good form, the intended form. Here is a close-up of the cascading Natal plum. It is the next day now, Monday, October the 30th, and that little ficus that I potted up at the beginning of the video, i would given it away already. David and Robin came down from Thunder Bay and they visited the bonsai zone here and he's going to take that little tree back with him to Thunder Bay on the airplane somehow and uh, so it's gone. Hopefully we'll see an update in the future. That is all for today. Some trees got pruned up quite hard today, others a little more lightly. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.